My research um, area is called Classical Reception Studies um, and I research how literature and culture from ancient Greece and Rome has impacted um, modern cultures um, in different parts of the world. IAS has enabled me to transform my career um, from uh, one discipline to two disciplines. I started off in uh, the Classics department, I am now working in an English department and that's because I've had three years of uninterrupted research in order to develop um, a new interdisciplinary research profile. I took a risk when I accepted the fellowship at IAS because I resigned from a tenured position in the United States to um, take up a three-year fellowship and my hope was that having that time to do the research would enable me to relaunch my career um, as a more serious researcher and in that time I was able to apply for a European Research Council grant, an application which was successful and has allowed me to continue um, working as primarily a researcher since I left IAS. One of the key strengths of an institution like IAS is the opportunity to do slow science um, of the kind that enables you to uh, follow your research track in unexpected directions without necessarily having a specific deadline for a specific end product. One of the reasons I decided to stay in Denmark is because there is um, public support and institutional support for research in the humanities and that's something that is, can be quite rare um, in the international research world. So that was a big attraction for me and the working conditions in Denmark are uh, more favourable than they are elsewhere in trying to achieve that very difficult work-life balance that academics often struggle to achieve. Isabel Torrance is an original and exceptionally productive researcher.